Well, we got the five-time world champ and gold medalist Carissa Moore up against Caroline Marks, who is making her triumphant return to the championship tour. And as you said, Rosie, the rising tide has really pushed the more waves here at Punta Roca, as well as more water on the cobblestones. Yeah, both Caroline Marks and Carissa Moore had to get through that elimination round yesterday afternoon. The waves really turned on, but both surfers showed great form, making their way into this quarterfinal number three. Caroline taking a look at that one, and you know what? Under priority, it's gonna be Carissa Moore up and riding. Nice arc to start with for Carissa Moore. Comes around the section again, vertical that time. Boldly wave, tapering off a little bit, so she's gonna to have to relinquish to some cutbacks. She's gonna get a number and just stay busy under the priority of Caroline Marks. All right, so we got Carissa Moore up and riding and Carissa staying busy out there under the priority of Caroline Marks. Wants to apply some pressure and she's doing so. With some great surfing. Shorter wall on this wave, but now she's gonna clean it up on the inside on the double up and looks for the finish. And of course, Carissa Moore will stomp that finish and ride out. So the judges owe us a couple more scores for Carissa Moore to set the situation in this heat. And we have our semifinal number one already set. Let's check out some replays. Carissa Moore. Yeah, Carissa just looking so powerful in the hook of this wave. It's interesting because I feel like there's a lot of waves on Oahu that you can liken this little bowly section to. Um, and Carissa looking just so comfortable when this wave starts to stand up. She throws the, the fin, she ditches it, and then, like Strata said, that ending maneuver as she was doing the interview. I mean, you can tell that the woman wants it. She's hungry. And here we go, Caroline Marks. Marksy on the backhand and uh, those powerful top hooks from Caroline Marks are still intact. Great rhythm, long drawn out bottom turns and beautiful leverage off her toes there. The tempo in which she's attacking this wave on her mark and Caroline's gonna get a little extra section on the inside. So nice starter for Caroline Marks. Strider, what do you got for Kind of strong finish that the judges really seem to lap up. But this, the delayed bottom turn on the backhand uh, again, just waiting for this wave to stand up. So good wave reading ability here from Caroline. Just knowing when to get to that lip, when it's going to be the steepest, and how to meet it, and keeping up with that pa uh, pace and tempo. Yeah, really, really good to have that rhythmic top-to-bottom approach. We've grown accustomed to that from Caroline Marks, who's just at 20 years old. Already seems like a veteran on tour, but she's got many years ahead of her. His athlete right here, Caroline, going vert for the beginning. Another vertical snap there on a roll right here. Needs a finish, gets a finish, and that's going to back up that 7.83 nicely. She's going to take the lead. Wow, so well done. I mean, if you think about a strategy going into heat, Caroline played this out so well. Um, getting that wave under Carissa's priority, just applying a little bit of pressure. She only needs a 2.5 to take the lead. Here we go again. Replay. So medium size wave but this thing had a bit of wall to work with cupped out section caroline was able to meet them and showing us you know just drifting the fins there getting vertical i'm kaipo joined by rosie hodge to talk you through this action as we're setting up our semi-finals and finals day here at the surf city pro el salvador presented by corona here we go with carissa moore double pump bottom turn for moore slashes off the top patient off the bottom again Little lip glide to get across that section. More wall to this wave, but Carissa catches a rail and kicks out. I don't know what happened right there. We'll probably check it out on the replay. And really just lay into it. And on the way up the face of that wave, you could see her having to fight through those little chops. You want to catch the second, maybe the third wave out here, or those inside ones after the set that are medium, have a nice smooth face, and allow you. Carissa Moore, she's going to force the issue right now on Caroline Marks with priority, taking a paddle for this one. And here we go with Caroline utilizing her priority long wall in front of Caroline. Glides through that one, releases the fins a little bit. It's got to get on the heel rail and gets on the heels a little bit too much. That wave ran away. And now Carissa Moore with more opportunity as she has priority and a full six and a half minute. She's going to have to make it's a decision right here. Here comes the line through here. Will it have the potential for Carissa Moore? Here we go. Here we come down to this. Carissa Moore. Battles into this wave, gets through that bump section. Working speed down the line, has to skip through this section. A lot of wall out in front of Carissa Moore before she's able to load up. Gaff a snap there. Now she's on her way. 
carving turn right back into the white water. Beautiful rail work for Carissa Moore. Has to nurse that roundhouse cutback. Looking for more on the inside. Needs to stand up. Little snap there. Double up section for Moore. And taps the finish. 7.71. What are your thoughts? 5.23. Not enough for Carissa Moore. This is the replay of it, Rosie. Yeah, a lot of downtime before she gets that first section. Let's see how she makes connection with this ball. So kind of throws those fins out, gets a little bit hung up. So the judges didn't really like that. And then goes lateral with that cutback maneuver. So there's no vertical attack on those opening um, moves. So, um, you know, you can see the point of view. But there she gets busy on this inside section. and gets a little bit more force in her surfing, finishes off. But you can just see there was no dynamic maneuver within that wave. That really was the wow factor to get in them. Triumphant return of Caroline Marks. She is in the semifinals. We're going to keep being back with quarterfinal number four when we return.